can't stop me that easily. Let's go. When life throws an obstacle, you've just got to smash through it and keep going. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name's Chris. I am a part-time reseller on eBay, typically focusing on clothing and footwear, but also toys as well when I can find them. Now, a couple of videos ago, if you've watched it, you would have seen that I'd been banned from a particular charity shop. One of my favourite charity shops. And it kind of knocked me back a little bit because the reason why I was banned in some ways was because I filmed in there, as I do in lots of charity shops. What I'd shown that I picked up and sold was seen by middle management. They weren't happy that I was profiteering on stuff I bought from that charity shop and they banned me from buying in that charity shop. Which I thought was a bit harsh, but anyway, that video is explains it all. There are so many comments, and if you did leave a comment, thank you so much. I've never had so many comments on a video. But I did summarise that I wasn't quite sure about what to do going forward in terms of filming in charity shops, because I don't want this banning matter to become more prevalent. I'd rather, just for now, just show you what I picked up in charity shops rather than showing the footage. I love what lo I love watching charity shop footage as much as anyone but right now I just need to take a step back from it and I know it can be exciting and and sort of informative but ultimately you want to see what I'm buying to resell and if you if obviously if you trust my judgment all of this I've bought from charity shops in a particular town without any footage because right now I could do I could do without it so that being said I'm not saying I'm never going to film in charity shops again, but just for now, just for the time being, I'm just going to take a step back, focus on what I've actually bought and what I can get for it, rather than showing you in-store footage. Just, just bear with me, okay? I'm just going to make some tweaks to what I do. Anyway, enough waffle. These two bags that you just saw... Hang on. One, two... All came from one town... It is a town. Yes, it is a town. But I've been yesterday. Now, I've never been to this town before. Thrifting. I've got, no, that, that's a lie. Sorry, my bin fell over. That's a lie. I have been here thrifting before, but long before I became a reseller. And that town is Salt Ash. I had no idea what to expect. But I guess the, the lady luck was shining down on me because I had a fantastic afternoon sourcing in, in Salt Ash. Now, next time I go might be rubbish but I guess I just need a little bit of, sort of confidence boosting a little bit of a kick at the backside that you know you've been banned from one place but that doesn't mean to say you're not going to have a good time going forward so without further ado I'm going to show you what I got I'll try and keep it fairly concise but knowing me I know that is quite difficult I'm going to show you sort of what I bought what I paid for it whether it is to sell or whether it is to keep for myself and hopefully what I can get for it on eBay. Now, as the title says, this is, or apart from one thing, this is all clothing and footwear. But that's what I love reselling. I know some people don't like selling clothing and that's fine. And some people don't like selling footwear, but that's fine. But I love it. I just, I don't know, there's something about it. I just, yeah, I love picking up sort of wearables. One toy in there, I do love to check the toy sections. But as I've said in other videos, I just find the toy sections are being squeezed down in charity shops. And from what I've noticed, the toys that they do have on offer just aren't really worth buying to resell, nor are they worth buying for myself. So I will check them, but unfortunately, I've only got one toy in this in this assortment. So without further ado, let me show you what I got, what I paid for it, and all the work hoo-ha. So first thing I picked up. Now I paid up for these. I did pay up for these. Um... And weirdly, it's the second day in a row I've seen this brand. This is my favourite brand of jeans to resell, as I mentioned before. And that is Diesel. So these were, so this did pay up, 15 quid. Which if you buy them for yourself, fantastic price. But I'm going to resell these. A couple of reasons why. So these are called Diesel Zafan. Um, I guess that's how you pronounce it. So these are regular boot cuts. Nice little dark wash jeans. There we go. Um, width 32, length 30, so a fairly small size. I had a pair of these. Um, crikey. A year and a half ago now. They were new with tags, which is a rarity. I actually think I paid nine quid for those, and they sold for £200 to somebody in the States who, I think it was like a collector of diesel jeans. 
So the Zaytham has sort of struck a chord for me, and I thought, well, 15 quid. I'd like to think I can get 60 quid for those. There or thereabouts. I don't mind paying up for something if the profit is there. If it was a, bit of a stab in the dark, 15 quid's probably, I probably wouldn't, but 15 quid, and I know they've sold before for me well. That didn't make sense. I know they've sold well for me before. I'm happy to pay that. Um, they don't fit me, they're a little bit too small for me. But being boot cut, being a nice wash, lovely condition, yeah, there's there's definitely profit there. So I don't mind paying up for certain things. That's absolutely fine. Unbranded jacket. You're thinking, why have I bought an unbranded fleece? I'll tell you why. So the brand on the breast pocket is Mountain Range. Never heard of it. But this this sort of embroidery you need to keep an eye out for. And it's Windstopper. So you've heard of Gore-Tex, like, you know, the, the fabric that breathable, waterproof. Well, this is a type of gore fabric. Does it say it there? Yes. Is that going to make it out? Gore WS, a so gore windstopper. So it's a really good quality fabric. Um, don't think it, it's probably water resistant, but keeps the wind out. Has a much more, um, I can't really describe it, sort of like tactile fleece material. There we go. So there you go. A bit more, a bit clearer. Wind stopper. And he's got the little gore logo below. So even though it's basically unbranded. The fact it's a gore windstopper means people are going to be looking out for this because it's a, it is a really quality fleece. Also, it's got a YKK zip and that's normally a mark of quality too. So I was happy to pay this. Happy to pay this, happy to buy this. And there's only four quid. Bargain. Um, I have no idea what this is going to go for. I've had gore windstoppers before along with a known brand and they can do sort of 35, 40 and we're talking, you know, skywards. So even though that only does 20 quid, I'm more than happy with that. It's a size small, it was in the ladies section, but I think it's probably a unisex, isn't it, really? It's, it's, it's suitable for everyone. Um, I say it's a size small, but it's quite a generally size small. So yeah, let's say 20 quid on that one, but say gore, anything gore, keep an eye out for, because it's really, really quality stuff. So that was that shop. So I thought, that's a good start. That's a good start. And I can't actually remember where I went next. So, I'm just going to show you various bits and bobs and we'll, we'll slowly get through it all. Um, right, so this one is for me. It's just a t-shirt. Um, Volkswagen. The thing is, look at that. It says Ashburton, Devon. Well, that's near where I live. By Fat Face. Um, I, have a, I own a couple of Volkswagens, so I thought, you know what, I'm entitled to wear that, aren't I? Lovely big size, size XL. Yeah, I just like the design. And the fact it's based on a sort of local town is, is cool, so... That one is a keeper. Put those down there. From the same shop. This is actually the last shop I went to, um, but I, I'll show you now. I think this is going to be another keeper as well, at least for the time being. So this is a, so not a brand I normally pick up, but it's a Polo Ralph Lauren. New age tag, not the older sort of silver and navy one, so new, new age. That was five pounds, which I thought that's, that's very, very reasonable. So a nice sort of check shirt, tartan pattern, size large, 100% cotton. I don't think it has a name. Oh no, Slim Fit Stretch Oxford. There we go. Um, button down collar, lovely, lovely condition. I'll wear that for a bit and then, I don't know, vintage? I know that's a bit naughty, but I could do it with more sort of formal shirt. So that's that, keeper. And from the same shop. Not one, but two Polo Ralph Lauren rugby shirts. Now, as I said many a time, I don't really get on with Polo Ralph Lauren all that much. In fact, I don't get on with Ralph Lauren at all because there's just so much of it on there. You're just competing with literally everyone. But I've never had long-sleeved polo or rugby shirts before. Now, they're a size large and they're in good condition. I just had to know. So I paid a fiver each. There we go, five pounds. Even if I only get 20 quid each, but they sell quickly, I'll be happy with that. So we've got a nice blue and yellow one, and then we've got this white and blue one as well, which needs a bit of a wash, but stains will hopefully come out. I just need to know how well they do, because Ralph Lauren is such a vast company, and so many things don't do well, but some things do. So I've all but given up with the short sleeve polo shirts, regardless of the size, regardless of how elaborate the sort of embroidery and design is. But longer sleeve stuff, particularly rugby shirts like rugby union shirts, like team shirts, 
always do better than short sleeve. So I'm applying that logic to these two and I'm gonna hope they do okay. If they don't, then I won't pick them up again. But I think for a fiver each, I hopefully won't lose any money there and hopefully they won't take too long to sell. Famous last words, aren't they? Okay, next shop. Um, now I'm fully aware that this isn't gonna do as well as I would like it to, but I just think it's cool. I wouldn't wear it myself. I just think it'd be cool to have on the shop, on the, like the, the eBay um, shop sort of frontage page where you can have photos and stuff. It's this Nike um, Tour de France jersey, cycling jersey. So it's from 2007. Um, I don't know if it's Lance Armstrong related. Hopefully not, because obviously that's gone very, very south indeed. It's a size large. Um, that was five pounds. Now, realistically, I'm probably not going to get much more than £20 all in for this. Maybe less than that. There is a similar design um, with different sponsors that seems to do a lot better. I'll put some screenshot in here of some comps. But I just think it's, it's really cool. I just, maybe I shouldn't have bought it. I just, I don't know. I just, I just liked it. So we'll see how well that does. But it, <sighs> we're coming into spring. Cycling's, you know, people wearing that sort of jersey for cycling is going to increase, isn't it? So... Mm, got a bit of age to it. I don't know. I'll let you know in due course how well it does. I probably shouldn't have bought it, but I just, I don't know, I just liked it. I just liked it, so never mind. Anyway, I'm hoping that these carry the weight of that anyway. So these were in the sale. I, they are a little bit stained, but I'm hoping the stains come out. And even if they don't, I should be okay. So we've got a pair of Carhartt jeans. Now, these aren't the sort of usual five pocket design. Um, they are, they are a bit weird. Um, they're more like a sort of dungaree style, I guess. So you've got like loops there, pockets there. It doesn't look like if anything's been like cut off the top. So they wouldn't have been dungarees before. Here's the old, uh, here's the wash table. Oh, look at that. It even says dungaree fit. So I was half right. So yeah, small size, width 30, inside leg 30. But I've sold Carhartt jeans before in a small size and they've done fine. Um, like I said, they've got, there's, there, there is staining on here, and there's staining to the rear. I'm hoping some, like, vanish in a wash, put in the sunlight, hopefully should get them out. If not completely, it's not the end of the world. These were only, I can't find the blooming tag now, where's it gone? Has it been removed in the shop? Maybe she removed it in the shop. Weird. Oh, well, anyway, they were £2.50, so I'm, I'm not losing money there at all. £2.50. Um, in that condition, if I can get the stains out, I would have thought at least £20. If I can't get the stains out, probably nearer to 15 But from £2.50, hopefully the car, it's a popular brand. Hope that does fine. Risk time. Now, same shop. These things were also sort of on sale, and it's three garments from the same brand. A brand I haven't really looked up. But I just... They have promise. Well, that promise is short-lived, I don't know. But the brand is called Clements and Church. I know, I, I haven't heard of them. I'm sure not many people have heard of them. There aren't many listed on eBay. But the quality is really good. So we've got a extra fine merino wool, um, I guess like sleeveless cardigan, so like tank top cardigan, uh, size large, says that one. We've got another one but in this lovely blue colour. That's a beautiful blue, isn't it? It's a beautiful blue. Again, Clements and Church. Don't know why it says limited edition, but yeah, whatever. Again, this is, I believe this is the next uh, merino wool. There you go. Extra fine merino wool. And then we've got this long sleeve one, long sleeve polo, polo, long sleeve jumper, V-neck. Again, that's a sort of standard Clements and Church tag. And this one is, I don't think it's Merino. I think it's just, yeah, pure new wool. Pure new wool made in Scotland. And that one was like 325. So we're talking like pence, really. Now, they might do rubbish. They might do absolutely rubbish. But the quality of the material, nice lightweight jumper as well. So perfect for like spring. And given today, spring is coming. Come on. I just had to know. I just had to know how well they do. If they suck, if they don't sell at all, I'm not going to lose money. Um, they might take ages to sell, but so be it. 
I just had to know how well they do. Could be a sleeper hit, could be a fail. I'll let you know again. I'll let you know in due course. There we go. Right, went into Bernardo's there. Only bought one thing. This is so cool though. Check it out. Got a weird fish tea. Bass to the future. That's awesome. <laughs> That's so good. And with these weird fish teas, these are the only things from weird fish I will pick up still. Uh, the macaroni knit jumpers. The, the sort of the ship has sailed on those. But the, the demand for these t-shirts still seems to be quite strong. So this is a slightly older one. It's not like a vintage one. It's slightly older one. It's got a, a material tag rather than a printed label. Three pounds. Bargain. Size large. I don't know. Something like maybe 15 quid all in. Something like that. Maybe a bit lower. But super cool design. Might wear it myself for a bit. It's pretty awesome. I, I, I do love these weird fish teeth. I did prefer the... Um, the big back print and the small front print style, but they are typically older ones. But uh, yeah, love it. Three quid, can't go wrong. Happy to find that. Right. We interrupt this broadcast with some footwear. For some footwear. And uh, now, actually, it's fair, the next... I don't know how many items I bought from this shop. I bought... A... This shop was, like, incredible. Um, I just kept finding things, thinking that's a good price. Buy, 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 buy. And yeah, I up to, I think I spent £28 there, but mixture of stuff for myself, mixture of stuff to sell on. So, I found a pair of Nike Air Huarachis. Now, I've enjoyed picking these up from Vinted at good prices. I've sold a couple of pairs of larger sizes, like men's, 10s, 11s. They sold really well. Got a couple of pairs of like an 8 or a 9, and they're hanging around a little bit. So, maybe these weren't the best purchase, but I thought from a fiver... I think we'll be okay. So, standard pair of Nike Air Huarachis. I don't think they're the Ultras. I can't remember what, because there are different types of Air Huarachis. Um, these are from 2019. I, I'll put a caption here of what, exactly what they are, but they are obviously triple white. Bit of chewing gum to the base. I'll clean that up. But I say, no rips, no stains. Um, yeah, they'll come out looking pretty good. Only UK size 5. I'd hope for 20, 25 on those, hopefully. A size 5 is typically like the lowest, sorry, the smallest lady size I will pick up without thinking too much about it. Anything less than that is a bit of a no-no because it can sit around. But I'm hopeful they'll do all right. Got a pair of fit flops. Never seen this design of fit flop before. Um, yeah, I've, I've no idea. I, I initially thought they were quite worn, but I think it's just the design of the shoe. I think they're actually in pretty good condition. So... Um, they're not the, what are they call? They're not wobbleboard. They're just, I guess, standard fit flop, fit flop, um, <laughs> footwear. God, fit flop footwear. Try and say that twice as fast. UK size 7, US 8, so technically they're a men's. But I'll probably list them to unisex. But they were only £3.50. So, yeah, of course I'm going to give them a go. Lovely, I believe they're leather. I, don't, I wouldn't say they're not leather. Um, well, the little sort of tag has been removed. Anyway, 20 quid? Maybe more than that? I don't know. They look like a bit, bit like school shoes, don't they? But they're almost sort of a weird like deck shoe. They've got these um, sort of lace bits on the side. So some sort of like strange deck shoe. Yeah, 2025. Complete complete guess, by the way. I've, I've, no, I've no idea. If I can find some comps, I'll put them in here. But for 350, Fit Flop, great brand. Give those a go. And sticking with the deck shoe theme, and apparently these have just gone out. Another pair of deck shoes. Now this is a brand I've never picked up before. Typically priced up in charity shops, um, but not always the best seller. And that is Samuel Windsor. Now I know the RRP of Samuel Windsor is quite high. Well, 90, 100 pounds say. But the, the second hand market really isn't that good at all. I think they're heavily discounted. I think they're one of these brands that's often in outlets. These are a size eight and a half. They're obviously, obviously a boat deck shoe. Did a quick comp in the shop. These could be about 30 quid. And again, £3.50. And apparently they've just gone out. So right place, right time with these. Great condition. Need a bit of a rub down. But barely anywhere to the soles, to the um, insoles. Lovely leather. Are they leather? Actually, they're more of a suede, actually. So suede front. And you've got a little leather um, upper portion. Lovely stitching. It's a really good quality shoe. Yeah, I'm hoping, coming into spring, 30 quid on those, which will be fantastic. So, but again, I'll let you know how well they do. Don't know how well Samuel Windsor does. That is the test right there. Now, I'm just 
so I'll get the receipts out so I can put them on QuickBooks and get some tax back. Right, that's that bag done. So, I guess second half. Same shop, same shop. Um, this one's for me. Got a nice sort of just plain Adidas navy t-shirt, size large. That one was... All the prices were on the hangers, which I think is a fantastic idea because you're not putting tags through the material, making holes. But I'm going to have to try and remember. I think it was £3. Something like that. But I guess nice, say, navy blue. Nothing much going for it, but that's a personal keep for me. Um, ah, another personal keep. I've been after one of these for so long. And I saw this on the rail and I thought, it's a little bit, it's a little bit faded. It's been worn. But I couldn't leave it behind. £3.25. Got this Fred Perry black and yellow polo shirt. I've been after a black and yellow one for I cannot tell you how long. And I know I could have gone to Vinton and bought one or gone onto eBay. But I love finding things out and about. I get such uh, satisfaction finding things I've been after. Just hanging up. If you can hear Felix, I apologise. But yeah. Th Not a happy. Anyway, 325 That one's for me. Fred Perry's not the best seller, I have to admit, but it's staying with me, so not too worried. Right, same shop, persevering. Good brand, this. Um, I bought it before. I didn't realise I had a massive rip in it, but it still did okay. And that is 5.11 Tactical. These are like the Keeler bottoms. So Keeler like, do jackets, they supply the police, uh, fire service, maybe ambulance service too. 5.11 or 5.11 tactical they're basically the trouser equivalent so yeah they supply the police um really really thick quality cotton trousers plenty of pockets they have been worn they have been washed a little bit um, faded out but yeah look you've got like a, almost like a sort of mobile phone or a walkie talkie pocket there really good quality trousers uh these are oh, the wash tags a bit decked uh, 36. No, 36. So nice big size. Again, they were 325, I think. So how much? I don't know, 25 quid? Maybe a bit more? No rips on these ones, so that's something. But yeah, really quality tries. I'd be, be on the lookout for 511 Tactical. So there's that one. This next one, I think I'm going to sell. But I am tempted to keep it for a bit. Now. Again, it wasn't overly obvious, well, it's not overly obvious what it is on face value. Oh, I can't be bothered to do the zip up. And it's by Trespass, which isn't the best brand to resell, but it's another wind cheater or wind stopper. Now, it doesn't say wind stopper on it, I guess because it probably doesn't have the sort of premium qualities that the wind stopper um, like logo warrants. But it's definitely that sort of, it's the same, exactly the same material as the one I showed you earlier. So it's definitely got, it's definitely more than your standard fleece, that's for sure. Again, I think these, this was three quid actually, so just you know, bargain. Um, I do like it though, it's a size large. I might keep it for a bit, but I've got so many fleeces already. I might just list it and then keep it for a bit and see what happens. But say size large, all the zips work, definitely a windstopper, three quid. Maybe 20 quid on that one, so not talking loads. The fact that it doesn't say Windstopper officially is... I'd be, I'd be lying a bit in the title, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, fantastic. Good quality fleece. I'm not going to lose money, so... There's that one. These ones were for me. Let's let it go, right? A pair of Soul Cal cargo shorts. I love a pair of cargo shorts. I just love the utility, utility nature of them. Utilitarian. That works. Plenty of pockets, 100% cotton, width 34, so my size. Lovely sort of, um, yeah, like a sort of charcoal, charcoal grey colour. They're staying with me. £2.50, absolute bargain. Now these two, I, I don't think I'll be keeping because they're white. And me being me, I will just stain them, I'll just drop something on them and they'll just, yeah, be stained forever. So again, both width 34. Both sold cow. Again, not the best brand to resell. But cargo shorts. There's always a demand for cargo shorts. And at £2.50 each, even if I only get, say, 12 quid each of them, it's multi-listing, one set of photos, 
easy sort of fiver-ish profit each. So yeah, I couldn't leave them behind. I don't think I could rock a pair of white shorts, to be honest. But hey, for 250, I was not leaving them behind. I think that was everything from that shop. See, that shop was incredible. Um, I could have hunted through the women's section as well. I just didn't really have the time. Um, but I say I was more than happy with what I got. So plenty for other people, right? That's how, that's how it works. Right, so I think this is the last shop. Yes, right, so again, another shop. Oh, should I show you the one non-clothing footwear thing? Shall I? Ta-da! Disney Pixar Cars Diecast. I don't actually know who this is. I don't recognise the character, um, but I'll put a caption on the screen of who it is. He was basically free, because I bought the other things here, and the lady said, oh, you can, I'll give that to you for free. I thought, that's very kind of you. You sure you don't want anything for it? She's like, no, no, honestly, it's fine. So, awesome. Um, yeah, I'm slowly making a bundle of Cars Cars, unless he's worth selling on his own. They bundle quite well, so that I just add up to the bundle. This one, I I don't know about this one. I'll look, I'll have to look it up to see how well it sells, and what the comps are like, and then make a decision. If it's rubbish, then I won't sell it, and I'll keep it. But it's got merit. So it's from the NFL London 2017 Games. So, you know, sort of seven years old. But it's by New Era. And it is a bobble beanie hat. Now, is that going to make, you make it out what that says? It's oddly Miami Dolphins, but um, on a sort of black and grey colour scheme. But it does have this incredible, there you go, embroidered badge there. Look at that. Awesome. Um, I take it to unisex, probably one size fits all. There's the official NFL label and the new era one. Um, it's probably acrylic. Uh, well, to be fair, lining is 90% polyester, 10% wool. So that's cool. Uh, the outside is 100% acrylic. Yeah, so yeah, standard standard hat. It's um yeah, it's neat. So if it's not worth very much, I'll um I'll keep it, but it's only a pound, so what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So even that's only like 12 quid, that's fine, isn't it? Absolutely fine. Right, two more things. And we'll discuss what I'm gonna do going forward. So it's been a while, but I've got a pair of a pair of mayors. Hooray! Now I've I found that mayors are being priced up more in charity shops, and that's fine. They're a good quality trouser. But I've also just completely stopped picking up the more um, like dress pants, like formal trousers, because they just don't sell at all. Even the corduroys I find don't sell at all. So I'm sticking to the sort of cotton chinos and khakis as best I, best I can help it. These are, again, these are sort of pre-named ones, that, that makes sense. So they're not like Oslo or Rio or Madrid or Roma. They are just what they are, but 36 width, inside leg 34, fantastic size. These are more of a sort of, I guess they are more of a khaki than a chino. They've got a more sort of um, like a cotton twill feel to them. But I say, lovely sort of beige colour, minimal branding. There we go. Two quid. Two quid for those. So, <laughs> what do I normally get for these? Sort of 17 to 20, something like that. So, yeah, can't argue, can you? Can't argue at all. And finally, and to be fair, this is probably the best find of the. Oh, no, I don't know. It's probably my favourite find of the lot. So they need a bit of a clean. I've got a pair of Gore-Tex Clark's shoes. Yes. Look at this. And they're proper like walking shoes too. So interestingly, they've still got the original like price sticker. So they would have been £95 RRP apparently. And you pay 65 Or you pay two if you wait long enough. Yes, two quid. Can't believe it. Uh, UK size 8G. So G is obviously the, uh, the width. So nice men's size. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. Gore-Tex walking shoes. Um, again, need a bit of clean, a bit of sort of greenery there, but that should come off no problem. No rips, no stains, lovely condition. Given I got £30 for my last pair of Clark's Gore-Tex shoes and they were more sort of like formal, I'll probably aim for about that, 30 35 hopefully. And uh, yeah, I hope to make a nice bit of profit. And that, I think, is everything I picked up. So, that's the pickups. Now I'm going to tell you what, what we're going to do going forward. So, like I said, <sighs> I will film in charity shops again in the future. But ultimately, this is what you want to know, isn't it? This is the information you can 
acquire you know what i picked up you know hopefully what i'm going to sell it for you know sort of why i picked it up and hopefully you can apply that to your own reselling uh, exploits too filming in charity shops is fun because you get like an array of what's there and you can see the objects the items sort of in place if that makes sense but i just i'm just not feeling it give me maybe a month or so and i might get back into it but right now i just want to like let things just cool off a little bit just i just don't want the i i don't want any unwarranted attention from anyone um yeah given that i have filmed in other charity drops recently i just need to just not for a bit if that makes sense so hopefully you can understand i'm just playing the cautious card i just don't want any more um altercations shall we say going forward so but i can still do this i can still show you what i've picked up um and explain to you why i've done it i just can't show you where i've picked it up from. you can't see it sort of live so to speak you just have to trust me that i've got it from charity shops but i have i promise you so that's that so thank you for watching slightly different style of video but i think at least going forward a little bit this is going to be more of the norm like, like i said just to to let things sort of simmer over a little bit for now so again thank you for watching if you have liked it please do like comment and subscribe until my next one i don't know what it's going to be but it'll be something <laughs> take care and i'll see you then Goodbye.